of going out to eat, you yeah. know, ordering takeout from time to time, a little treat. Yeah. So when you're on a diet, things can start going off the rails in a hurry. You know what? Even if you're not on a diet, if you're just trying yeah. to lead a healthy life, we want to be mindful of the mm -hmm. things that we eat. And that's where our next guest comes in. Jacob Ziemer is a fitness and nutrition coach. He has all kinds of practical advice when it comes to dining out, including simple swaps you can make to save on calories. I and like turns that. out... I like this. Yes. He's with us this morning. Hi. There he is. Hi. We didn't you? scare him off Good after the you. first uh, <laughs> yes. half hour. Yeah. Good to see you. Thank you for Good joining to see you. us. Pleasure to be here. Before we get into your tips, yeah. I think you want to know what this man does to be so f I'm dying well, to know. He's do you do the same like, workout? You know, yeah. Do you lift heavy things building. and throw them down? Do you run? What do you do? I happen to be one of those people who enjoy working out. Mm -hmm. For most of us, if you could just get in about 150 minutes of cardio a week, mm -hmm. that would be amazing. Okay. And if you could lift twice a week. So maybe mm -hmm. two to three cardio sessions, right? Maybe about 50 minutes each, moderate. Mm -hmm. And then if you could lift twice a week, you'd be in an amazing place. Really? I am like the woman who is doing the CrossFit. I yeah. am one of the select few that actually enjoy working out. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I do. So I work <laughs> out a little bit more often than that. No, but, so, that, but that's great. But yeah. for most Americans, if you can do 150 minutes of cardio, that's okay. the American Heart Rate recommendation, uh -huh. American Heart Rate Association's recommendation. And if you can lift twice a week, about an hour and a half. Okay. You're in a great place and you'll age well. Before we get to the food swapping thing, mm -hmm. you're also referred to as an accountability coach. Yes. What does that mean exactly? So I was a trainer for years. I actually started first training at Equinox, and I realized very quickly that if I helped people out with the other 23 hours of the day, they'd have success, right? Mm -hmm. One hour of personal training is not going to be enough to cut it. Mm -hmm. And so I more and more helped people structure their diet, structure their lifestyle. We know there's five things that you need to do to live a long life. Mm -hmm. uh, first and foremost, keep your BMI, your body mass index, mm -hmm. in a healthy place. Two, get enough sleep, about seven mm -hmm. hours. Focus right. your diet around <laughs> whole foods. Right. And this is going to be, I'm sorry to say, but try to minimize alcohol. You don't have to get rid of it, but just right. minimize it. Don't mm -hmm. be an animal. Don't, right. you know, yeah, exactly. don't go on a bender don't every be a beast. week. Exactly. And exercise. Okay. So a large part of my business is coaching uh, people to keep those things in structure and keep them accountability of it. Because so you kind of check in with them. Is that how that works? Every day. Yeah. yeah. Check in with those clients every day. And even in uh, my personal training, uh, I still do some semi-private in Westchester. Mm -hmm. It's really focused around accountability. Like right. there's a 24-hour cancellation policy. People are right. charged if they don't come. And that's uh, for their benefit because right. the most important thing about exercise is that appointment. Right. Putting it on your calendar and actually doing it. So do you ever say, like, don't make me come over there. You're not going to want me. Could you imagine? <laughs> That's real accountability. Jacob shows up at their door. Hi, don't here I am. Here I am. I was doing some, some remedial arithmetic. So 150 minutes a week is mm -hmm. divided by seven, a little more than 20 minutes a day. So there's 60 but, minutes. Right. So six, two 60-minute sessions and a half-an-hour session, or okay. really three 45-minute sessions, okay. basically. Or three 50-minute sessions, somewhere in there, somewhere and that's moderate. Now, you could do more intense. People love to get on Peloton and just cruise. Mm -hmm. That's intense cardio. So moderate would be like 110 to 130 beats per minute. Go get yourself okay. a wearable. There's a ton of options out there. Track it when you're doing your cardio. I want you running that's up to Riverdale and sprinting I back. Should. Exactly. Every See, time. that would be 75 okay. minutes because it's intense. Lying. You see? Oh, that so, would be intense. Okay, yeah, intense. so for those of us who cannot get to the gym every day. Right. You could put your earbuds in, Mary could yell at you. The I don't know. Move it, move it, move it. <laughs> move it, Chris. Half, I, I think half the battle is our nutrition and what yeah. we decide to Probably eat. Probably more, Mary. Right. And, like 80%. And, and then there's, it's not, it's not easy, especially if you have kids on the go. Right. Who yeah, wants to go to Starbucks? Selectively at Who home? wants to go to Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah. You've worked the whole day. The last thing you want to do is I cook. So sure. you're like, we're ordering out. Mm -hmm. So can you give us some hope? Let's start with breakfast. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sure. The infamous breakfast yes. sandwich. Eggs, cheese, bacon. Come on. Bacon and cheese. It's tough because there's a lot of saturated fat in those meals, and then you've got a carbohydrate on top of mm -hmm. it. I just think look for simple wins. It's all about margins. When people look at dieting, they're all or nothing, mm -hmm. and that's not a winning right. game. And no right. one lives like I that. It's no nice. one lives yeah. like that, but mm -hmm. they do with your diet. You don't live like that with your budget. Oh, I'm either going to buy a Ferrari or I'm not going to buy a car at all. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't do that in any other aspect of your life, but people do it with diet. When I go to breakfast, I look, hey, do I really want the cheese? Right? Mm -hmm. Skip the cheese is an easy one. Well, I want to do a wrap or an English muffin as opposed to a bagel. Bagel's right. going to have significantly more calories right. mm -hmm. than an English muffin. So it's just piecing away what you want and actually don't want. Right. Uh, people have this idea that turkey bacon is healthier than traditional pork bacon. It's not no. necessarily. It could be just as fatty. Uh, so okay. just have what you actually enjoy. If I was going to grab something, maybe I'd grab an English muffin, and maybe I'd grab some smoked salmon, and I'd stay away from the cream cheese. But, mm -hmm. And put some vegetables on there, okay. right? 
Another option might be just get the English muffin, get the patty that you actually enjoy, skip the cheese. Okay. Right? What about getting rid of the English muffin? Because sometimes I'll, I won't eat the carb. I'll just eat the protein that's in it. Is that and that's where it really, and that's the tough thing. That's why people struggle with dieting so much because so much of it is context. Mm. So part of it is just cutting where you can and enjoying it. We're going to talk about yeah. burgers later. One of the things mm -hmm. you can do is put it on a lettuce wrap, but that's not a burger to me. It's not right. satisfying. <laughs> Before we get to our burgers, <laughs> Chinese food. Yeah. What can we order Chinese so that we don't food feel is like so easy to order? Really? Mm -hmm. So easy. Okay. So one of the easiest things you can do is you can always get steamed chicken there. Right. right? Okay. And then you say, oh, but Jake, that's no fun. But you could still get the sauce you enjoy. So right. if you right. like General Chow's chicken, yeah. ask for the steamed chicken, get your broccoli. That's always what comes with General Chow's yeah. chicken. Mm -hmm. Get your rice, and then just get your sauce on the side. Oh. Ask for the sauce, the sauce on the side. The sauce on the side routine. I like that. Okay. Dip your fork in, right? right? Yeah. And then skewer the protein. Because nothing's been fried, nothing's been breaded. Right. It's just steamed chicken, but it has all that flavor. It has all that flavor. And you get all the, ca you get all the taste of the right. sauce by dipping Sounds it, right. but not all the calories. What about brown, brown rice versus white rice? This is very polarizing, like my thanks. Yes. <laughs> Go. Apparently. <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> Go. Brown rice versus brown ri uh, white rice. Brown rice has more fiber. As mm -hmm. adults, we want to actively be pursuing fiber. Everything we're seeing in research these days about fiber is one of the keys to living a long life. Right. It decreases cholesterol and improves blood pressure, mm -hmm. decreases our risk for cancer and heart disease all the way around. But we're talking about a two gram difference right. here. Oh, okay. Uh, brown rice is worthwhile, but the most important thing is get your vegetables. You yeah, can get right. the white rice, but eat the broccoli right. with the general chow. Eat the broccoli. Okay. I've, I've that heard. reminded me of the joke, which was. Uh, Chick pea, neither a chick nor a pea. Discuss. No. <laughs> so we go to a me Mexican restaurant. There's heavy duty. There's a lot Chips of cheese and, and everything. Things are fried. Oh. What's going on here? Yeah. How do we but it's so dance good. around that one? Help. Okay. okay. Uh, first and foremost, always decide is this a special event? Like, is this someone's birthday that you truly love in your life? Is it a unique, are you congratulating somebody? Because right. if it is, you're supposed to enjoy moments in life. Even the accountability clients that are mine, I tell them, like, you should be telling me to bug off at least twice a month. Right? Okay. And that doesn't mean for the entire day, but certainly for right. a meal. Right. Right? I have something every day I enjoy. I, if you, if this is not a special occasion, get rid of the chips. Right. Okay. Don't yep, even let yep, them at yep. the table. Because mm -hmm. then you get full. You're, it's, it ruins the experience right. almost. Yeah. Um, right. Jacob, pick rice or beans, not both. Beans. You just upset every <laughs> I Latino oh, viewer. <laughs> <laughs> One cannot exist I without the other kind. I thought something magical happened when the beans and the rice come together. They're a family. <laughs> you get beans. Beans. <laughs> They're a family. That's it. You just get the beans. No, no rice for you. You want the no beans. Rice for you. The beans are so high in fiber. This They're is, massive. My mother is on line one for you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, quick, quick. Well, to be honest, I love, I love the beans. Actually, put the chips away. Get the do black the beans. beans. Yeah. What about you? Start talking about a burger. Mm -hmm. We go to a burger oh, joint. What gosh. are we ordering? Okay, every fry has 27 calories. Yeah. Every fry, if you have four fries, you've had over it's 100 horrible. calories. It's horrible. Oh, horrible. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, it's a, so you have to avoid the fries or just do a small fry. Right. Burgers are not that terrible in general. Something thing that people don't understand is a traditional American burger has 700 calories. You know how many calories in a Caesar salad? 700 Sorry. calories. Oh, really? They're from about all the dressing, say, right? From all the dressing. Because remember, the sauce on yeah, the side. Right. Mm -hmm. So when you're dealing with a burger, again, if it's a special occasion, ask yourself, it's probably not if you're getting a burger. <laughs> it's, you know, it's probably it's not. Just Tuesday. Just, just <laughs> try to enjoy the. Watch what the sides you have with yeah. it. You don't want to add on a Coca Cola. Mm -hmm. You don't want to add on French fries. You certainly don't want to add a milkshake. Some places, sometimes will say, well, you know, a little small green salad instead of the fries. Yeah. Some offer, some don't. Just keep it on the sauce on the side. On the side. What the about sweet, sweet potato fries? Sweet potato fries are just as caloric. They're fried. Mm -hmm. You got a carbohydrate <laughs> that's fried. Real quick, one thing that is apparently good because we can see it, sushi. Yeah. <laughs> you can see every ingredient. Amazing. Right? Okay. Why is sushi so amazing? Because you can see all the ingredients in there, so it's very easy to navigate and you know what you're eating. One of the successes to dieting that we know, accountability, but also tracking. So mm. with sushi, you can track exactly what you're eating. Oh, you're eating salmon. It's very obvious. Salmon, avocado. Right. Very obvious. So very easy to track that and know exactly what you're putting in your body. Right. I love it. Also, very low in calorie. Yeah. No hidden sauces, no butter that was cooked, right. anything like that. Very I am starving Jacob, for fries, great. rice, and uh, beans, <laughs> a burger. This apparently didn't and work in the right direction for you. <laughs> Failed. Good try, Jacob. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Jacob, in all honesty, thank you so much. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you. We're going to hold time you to some out. accountability. Man. That's right. Exactly. All right. That's for right. more training and nutrition tips, you can follow Jacob on Instagram at Jacob Zimmer. You can also go to his website, jacobzimmer.com.